morning everybody we will begin with a prayer i invite stacy to sing the prayer ചിരഞ്ജീവനുഗ്രഹിക്കൂ ചിരഞ്ജീവ ആയിരം വസന്തങ്ങൾ പൊഴിഞ്ഞാലും ആയിരം വെള്ളം തെളിഞ്ഞാലും ആയിരം വസന്തങ്ങൾ പൊഴിഞ്ഞാലും ആയിരം മഴവിള്ളു തെളിഞ്ഞാലും നീതാന്ത സൗന്ദര്യമേ നിന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ നിഷ്പ്രഭമല്ലോചരാചരങ്ങൾ നീതാന്ത സൗന്ദര്യമേ നിന്റെ മുൻപിൽ നിഷ്പ്രഭമല്ലോ ടോപ്പിക് ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് സെഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് സെമിനാർസ് ആൻഡ് കോൺഫറൻസ് ഹൗ ടു മേക്ക് presentation so uh, from that chapter the question that you will get for the exam is to prepare a slide presentation for the exam it is easy you just need to draw just uh, five slides based on the topic for the exam that is there will be a topic in the question paper you just need to draw five boxes and in the each uh, each of these boxes you have to include one topic and uh, some points on that topic so each uh, each slide will fetch two marks so you get a total of uh, 10 marks for that it is easy for the exam but uh, we are not just uh, preparing for the exam we also need to know how to make an actual presentation not just drawing on the paper it is easy on the paper you just need to write some points i will give you an example also uh, but when you make an actual uh, slide presentation it is uh, there are some things we have to uh, keep in mind uh, that's why i asked you to uh, prepare an assignment so very few people have submitted the date is not uh, nearby we have a lot of time to pre- uh, prepare and uh, submit the assignment but for the sake of understanding i have selected some of those who uh, uh, submitted it very early i have taken some of those uh, slides i went to went through them yesterday and uh, they were all very good but uh, i'll make some suggestions uh, they are not my suggestions there are some common uh, commonly accepted methods on how to uh, prepare and present slides presentation slides are actually very useful and very powerful and why is it called powerpoint the uh, it is called powerpoint because it's a brand name it is a, it is known um, as powerpoint only because it is a, it is one of the uh, products of the microsoft company when they introduced the microsoft office so this was one of the tools which was included in the microsoft office that is word excel powerpoint and three major tools are they introduced in other than code access nakku parney vere tools are introduced but the major three things that they began with in the beginning was uh, microsoft word and uh, microsoft uh, excel and microsoft powerpoint basically they are not called uh, powerpoint they should be called as slide presentation powerpoint or the brand in the pair so why was this why was it called powerpoint it is because they are very powerful in conveying information 
and therefore also they are conveyed in by means of points so that is why they were called powerpoints uh, i think we will first uh, go through some of those uh, presentations or let us see the tips first okay so, so there are some tips which i have with me we will look at those tips and then go to those presentations So these are the tips that we have to discuss. So when you give an introduction, there should be an introductory slide in your presentation. If we have a slide presentation, we have a PowerPoint presentation, we have an introductory slide. Why is it required? So that uh, people understand what to expect from the presentation. They are going to be able to do to get an idea of what you are going to talk to them, you need an introductory slide. So in that introductory slide, basically what you will do is you will just uh, put down the titles of all the other slides. If you have a slide in the presentation, you will put slide in the slide in the title in the introduction. So the audience will understand what I am going to discuss in that presentation. So that will be the first slide. Okay, the next slide. Uh, and so that is the that is what you give in the introduction. You make an outline of the presentation, like the previous slide that we sh uh, showed. So this is the introduction. This is the kind of introduction for this uh, tips for presentation. Similarly, we also have to prepare an uh, outline of what we are going to present. That will be the introductory slide, and uh, follow that order for the rest of the presentation. Only place the main points and outline slides. So when you prepare that introductory slide, only use the main points. So it is easy because you can just use the titles of each slide. So when there is a path slide in a path slide in the title when you introduction, the path not telling him and then a major title and the titles and you can introduction later. So uh, how many slides so this is a question that many people asked me when i asked you to make a submission uh, uh, prepare an assignment many many students asked me how many slides uh, should i have in my presentation so uh, there is no fixed rule for that it depends on the length of your presentation if your presentation is very long for example for one hour then you can use perhaps 10 20 slides Okay, so the uh, thumb rule is that uh, it, there should be around one to two slides per minute of your presentation. So if you are presenting for a minute, you should have one or two slides for every minute. So that is, uh, there is no fixed rule. So uh, it is not advisable to continuously keep uh, changing from one slide to another. Uh, the, the audience will not understand anything. So there should be some time for the audience to uh, watch understand and then uh, you move on to the next slide so there should not be any hurry in making the presentation okay that is the first point then write in point form not complete sentences answer the full sentence i tell them powerpoint slides points on option why should we not write complete sentences? Either to text tell We are not writing a textbook. This is just a, a guideline for the audience to understand what we are talking about. If you write too much of text, it's very difficult for the audience to understand. And 
there should not be more than four or five points in a slide. Or points or slide little, then also it becomes very difficult to understand. You have to split it into two or more slides. Just because my the point that I discuss has uh, the idea that I discuss has 10 to 15 points, I should not include all that in a single slide. Split the slide, split it into two or three slides and make slides very compact and small and easy to manage the audience should be easy to uh, it should be easy for the audience to understand so four to five slides see here also you can just see there are just four slides four points in this slide avoid the wordiness wordiness is text it is wordiness use keywords and phrases only so the slide will look good. See, so this is a, an example for a bad slide. bad slide example. So this is not what we should do. So this is almost like a paragraph. Text like a paragraph. So we should just write as points. So uh, PowerPoints uh, slides are not supposed to be read by the viewers. Our readers are like viewers and audience. Are. So we should make only points, not text. The text are like. So we should avoid a text in the uh, slides. Text should be minimum. That is just points, not even long sentences. So this is almost a paragraph. So this is not a good slide structure. So this is a good slide structure. There are some points, one point at a time. So audience will, what is the benefit of showing like this? The audience will be able to concentrate on what you're saying. It will prevent the audience from reading ahead. We'll help you make, keep your presentation focused. They will understand uh, the key points that you're making in the presentation. If you make a huge paragraph, it will be very uh, strainful upon the audience. They will not be able to uh, go through the entire paragraph. Text, text, why can How will they go look at the screen and read? It is very difficult. So, what are examples of bad slide structures? Using distracting animation. So, it is good to use pictures, but if you are using animation on the screen, then it is very distracting. But it can be very distracting to the audience. So don't use uh, too much animation. Use animation if you want. For example, if you want to show the working of some machines, or if you want to show how uh, uh, some, uh, for example, somebody who's uh, handling my capital market wants to show an animation of how one stock is transferred from a person through the exchange to the other person. So that is an example of a stock exchange. So it can you can use some simple animation to show it, but it should not be too much. We are not showing a video. We are showing a PowerPoint presentation. So don't go overboard means don't be excessive. Don't use too much. But if you use an animation, it should be consistent. It, it should be used properly throughout your presentation. Fonts this is something which we have to be very careful about. It should be readable. So uh, for writing, we use 12 points or 13 points uh, uh, in when you're typing and printing. If it is Times New Roman, 12 or 13 or 14 is a readable font. But when it is a PowerPoint presentation, there should be at least an 18 point font. You are not reading from a close distance. Uh, the audience will read it from a longer distance. So at 18 point font is required. For main points and secondary points, you should use different size points. These things will automatically come into a presentation when you open a normal uh, slide presentation tool like PowerPoint or Impress. Impress is an open office uh, tool. So when you open Impress, these uh, things will automatically be configured there. But if we are changing it personally, then we have to be very careful. Our PowerPoint uh, tool, uh, Impress, 
പവർ പോയിന്റ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിൽ തന്നെ ഈ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ വരും അതായത് എയ്റ്റീൻ പോയിന്റ്സ് ഫോൺസ് ഒക്കെ തന്നെ ആയിരിക്കും ടൈറ്റിൽ പോയിന്റിൽ വരാം പക്ഷെ നമ്മളായിട്ട് മാറ്റുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇത് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കണം സോ വെൻ വി ചേഞ്ച് ദ ഫോൺസ് ബൈ ഔർ സെൽസ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ബി കെയർഫുൾ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ദി പോയിന്റ് സൈസ് ഫോൺ സൈസ് വി ഷുഡ് ഓൾസോ ബി കെയർഫുൾ ഓഫ് ദ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഫോൺ ദാറ്റ് വി യൂസ് വി ഷുഡ് യൂസ് എ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഫോൺസ് ലൈക്ക് ടൈംസ് ന്യൂ റോമൻ ഓർ ഏരിയൽ So, what is the uh, peculiarity of using a... Uh, I will show you an example. I think it is there in the next presentation. Yes. This is the next slide. So, what is a bad font? If you look at the first font, it is very small. first point the first point is written in so small a font that i don't think anybody here will be able to read it atrain jadana so it is very difficult to read so there should be a minimum there should be a minimum size for the font that you use so the minimum size is 18 for the uh, the title font and uh, uh 28 for the uh, title font and 18 for the uh, point font so this is this comes automatically but if we are changing it we have to be careful and uh, there is another uh, commonly observed error is that you capitalize everything that you write so capitalize things only when necessary if you capitalize everything it is difficult to read look at the third point in the slide the font uh, looks very attractive and all but it is difficult to read so use standard fonts so what are the standard fonts standard fonts are times new roman arial etc or uh, some other fonts which come with uh, particular slide designs we can use them because they have been tried and tested and after that they have been brought up so never use any complicated fonts color so we see that people like to use a lot of color so we uh, you should use color that is uh, contrast contrasting with the background if we use a light, light color font in a light background it will not be readable if we are using a dark color font in a dark background then also it will not be readable so if you are using a dark font the background should be light if you are using a light font then the background should be dark so that that is called contrast only then our uh, slides will be readable then when you speak before the audience you should not read what is there on the slide that is for the audience to read നമ്മൾ അത് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യൽ മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ വി ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് റീഡ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് റിട്ടൺ ഓൺ ദ സ്ക്രീൻ വി ക്യാൻ വി ക്യാൻ എക്സ്പാൻഡ് ഓൺ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഓൾറെഡി ദർ ഓൺ ദ സ്ക്രീൻ ബട്ട് നെവർ റീഡ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദർ ഓൺ ദ സ്ക്രീൻ ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി ഇറിറ്റേറ്റിംഗ് ടു ദ ഓഡിയൻസ് സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദർ ഓൺ ദ സ്ക്രീൻ ഇസ് ഓൾറെഡി റീഡബിൾ ബൈ ദ ഓഡിയൻസ് സോ വി ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് റീഡ് ഇറ്റ് അഗെയിൻ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഹൗ യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ബാഡ് കളേഴ്സ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് റീഡബിൾ ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ഹാവ് യൂസ് എ ലൈറ്റ് color that is an yellow color in that white background It is very difficult to read and using color for decoration is distracting and annoying look at those two words i have tried to highlight it using some different colors then also it is not good so color is not used for decoration but for proper reading in a oro point in oro color you see another is also unnecessary it is not professional so uh, it is good to be creative but uh, in these areas being creative can be bad creativity nalladana but ella eduthum kondu be creative aya it can bring negative impact okay the next point so simple simplicity is the soul of wit so three things which will make our presentation good 
clarity, brevity, and simplicity. Clarity is the state of being clear. Brevity, B-R-E-V-I-T-Y. Brevity is the state of being brief. And simplicity is the state of being simple. So light background, dark font is very good. And it is preferable if you use the same background throughout your presentation. One presentation, one background. Another presentation, where a background. I'm going to say another. It is not professional. So use the same background. If you like a particular background, use it throughout the presentation. Don't use uh, uh, individual background for each slide. Then it can be very distracting and disturbing to the audience. So this is an example of a bad background. It is causing a lot of strain on the eye. So uh, reading it is difficult. And uh, it kind of irritates the viewers. The kind of a uh, neon pink. This is a kind of neon pink color. Causing some strain upon the eye. So they, it is distracting and difficult to read. So avoid such slides. So graphs, when we use graphs also, we have to be careful. It should be readable. <clears throat> Just by drawing something and making a chart is not suitable. It should be easy to understand. So we have examples of some graphs here. This is, uh, the points are there, but the audience cannot understand anything. Some figures are there. You have, uh, put some data there but this data cannot be comprehended by an audience which is sitting and viewing it this is okay in a text a textbook is a pula, but for a, a slide presentation this is not suitable so this is a good example the same thing is represented here in the form of a graph then the audience get a proper understanding so the sale of the balls how it changed during the different months is very clearly uh, shown by the bar graph this is a kind of example of a bar graph bars using bars this is distracting because the background is not good the points are not very clear the months that are mentioned is in very small font the color is very distracting this is a bad graph. So you see the difference? This is good. And this is bad. So the reasons for it being bad are mentioned here. So why was the previous graph bad? The reasons are these suitable and uh, the fonts which are not suitable the colors which are distracting the shading all these things we have to be very careful about the next thing that i have, want to mention is regarding spelling and grammar so find out whether the slides will have some errors check it and check and then only then make the presentation because the entire audience will see what you have typed out so therefore also there should also be a conclusion slide so uh, when you complete your presentation you should not end it abruptly there should be a conclusion like we began with an introduction where, where we mentioned the main points what are we going to discuss in the presentation in the conclusion you should also uh, wrap up the entire presentation. You should make a closing of what you are presented. So they will remember what you said. So they, uh, the, the audience tend to have a feeling that they have got a, an understanding of what you discussed. So a conclusion slide should have a summarizing. Like we summarized the topics in the beginning. The main points that were discussed, the main points that we want to drive into the audience should be summarized in the end of the presentation. So that uh, that is the, this is the format of a PowerPoint presentation. So there should be a, an introduction, 
there should be some body slides like we have body for a letter some body slides and a concluding slide and the concluding slide is not the last slide there is one more slide that will come we will discuss that so the conclusion slide will have the summarizing of the main points so conclusion i don't thank you all what comes after conclusion there should be a slide to ask the audience about some questions that they may have so you invite them for questions so if they have some questions answer those questions and only then put your thank you slide so uh, what what is the benefit of having a question answer session it uh, it is actually a kind of feedback if you have a question answer session in your presentation uh, it completes the communication cycle when we discussed communication skills in the beginning in the first chapter of the first module we said that communication is a cyclic process which is completed only by feedback if there is no feedback communication is incomplete so this is a uh, this is an opportunity for the audience to ask questions so the by the kind of questions that they ask we understand whether the points have been driven in properly by us so the questions will uh, clarify and actually complete your presentation so it is very important to include such a slide at the end especially as you are going to present your seminars this will be very useful so only after the questions slide then we move on to the uh, thank you slide so for the example we will we will just look at some of the slides uh, that uh, you had presented because uh, that has some value you had made some slide presentations we will look at them So this is a presentation that was done by Adina. Adina and Oda. Ah yes sir. Okay. Sorry, welcome in the ending. I never can. Adana, Adana, Adina, enjoy. Can you? So. Uh, maybe in some other pro computers it may look different. So uh, maybe if you reduce the size of the font, it will look the same in all all computers. So when you prepare a slide presentation, check it. If when you reach the venue, check it whether it is playing in the same manner that you made it. presentation So when you have a presentation somewhere, arrive. Uh, at least half an hour before and check whether all these slides are playing properly so that is uh, one thing that you can so you can see that uh, you should uh, write just points so introduction uh, introduction le namle endakka points are discussing the uh, uh, the definition of management uh, different kinds of management uh, the process of management angana endakkiyana nammal discuss cheyyana adana ivada vendathu ennittu definition of management nu parichittu nammal adu parayana vendathu idu ivada ezhudi idalla vendathu we should actually speak about what is management appo ivada actually vendathu oru oru question aanu what is management allengil definition of management nu oru point ivundu 
പിന്നെ ഈ ഇതിൽ ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ മുഴുവൻ നമ്മൾ പറയാനുള്ളതാണ് നമ്മൾ പറയാനുള്ളത് മുഴുവൻ നമ്മൾ സ്ലൈഡിൽ ഇട്ടാൽ ഇത്ര നമുക്ക് പറയാനൊന്നുമില്ല സ്ലൈഡിൽ ഇട്ട അവർ വായിക്കൂല നോബഡി ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു റീഡ് ദ സൈഡ് ഇറ്റ് നോട്ട് റീഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ടു റീഡ് എ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് അല്ല നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ വി ഷുഡ് റെഡ്യൂസ് ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് പോയിന്റ്സ് അപ്പോൾ ഇൻട്രഡക്ഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ മൊത്തം സ്ലൈഡുകളിലുള്ളതിൻ്റെ ഒരു പോയിന്റ്സ് ആണ് അവിടെ വേണ്ടത് അതായത് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് അവിടെ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് അല്ല അത് അതിന്റെ അലൈൻമെന്റ് മാറിയതാണ് അത് കുഴപ്പമില്ല ഞാൻ അതല്ല പറഞ്ഞത് ആ ഇത് ഇതിന്റെ അലൈൻമെന്റ് മാറിയതാണ് അത് ചിലപ്പോ ഒക്കെ നിങ്ങളെ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടറിൽ പ്ലേ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ കറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് വരുമായിരിക്കും ഇത് ഇത് ക്ലാസ് റൂമിൽ ഓപ്പൺ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടായിരിക്കും ഗൂഗിൾ ക്ലാസ് റൂമിൽ ഓപ്പൺ ചെയ്തതാണ് അത് മനസ്സിലായി അത് ഇനി കാര്യം മനസ്സിലായി ഓഫ് ദ ഫോർമാറ്റ് ഫോർമാറ്റ് ചിലപ്പോ അത് ശരിയാവുമായിരിക്കും I am only speaking of the, uh, the content. content. So, content is the introduction of management. What is the definition of management? Functions of management. We have a lot of tiles, planning. We have a lot of tiles. We have a lot of headings in the introduction. We have a lot of tiles. We have a lot of tiles. We have a lot of definition of management. Functions of management. We have a lot of tiles. We have a lot of tiles. We have a lot of tiles. അപ്പൊ ഈ സ്ലൈഡിൽ കണ്ടില്ലേ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് വെറുതെ ഒന്നുമില്ല അപ്പൊ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് മാനേജ് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ എന്ത് കൊടുക്കണം പ്ലാനിങ് അപ്പൊ അവിടെ നമുക്ക് പോയിന്റ്സ് കൊടുക്കണം എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഇപ്പൊ പ്ലാനിങ് എക്സിക്യൂഷൻ അങ്ങനെ എന്തെങ്കിലുമൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് നമ്മൾ അവിടെ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യണം ഓക്കെ സോ യൂസിങ് സച്ച് പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ എ ഗുഡ് ഐഡിയ കാരണം വെറുതെ ഡ്രൈ ആയിട്ട് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇടുന്നതിലും നല്ലത് ഇടയ്ക്ക് നമ്മളൊരു പിക്ചർ ഒക്കെ ഇടുന്നത് വിൽ അട്രാക്ട് ദ അറ്റൻഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഓഡിയൻസ് പക്ഷെ പിക്ചർ വല്ലാതെ ഡിസ്ട്രാക്റ്റിങ് ആവരുത് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി സ്യൂട്ടബിൾ ടു ദ ടോപ്പിക് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിങ് സോ യൂസിങ് സച്ച് പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സെഡ് അബൌട്ട് പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് എ പിക്ചർ ഇസ് വേർത്ത് എ തൗസൻഡ് വേർഡ്സ് എ പിക്ചർ ഇസ് വേർത്ത് എ തൗസൻഡ് വേർഡ്സ് എന്നാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഒരു ആയിരം വാക്ക് നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നതിനേക്കാളും നല്ലതാണ് ഒരു പിക്ചർ ഇടുന്നത് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് എ പിക്ചർ എന്നാൽ മുഴുവൻ പിക്ചറാക്കി മാറ്റണം എന്നല്ല പിക്ചർ യൂസ് ചെയ്യണം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗുഡ് ടു യൂസ് പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ആ അപ്പൊ ഇതില് ഈ സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാനിങ് വേണമെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് രണ്ട് സ്ലൈഡ് ആക്കാം സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാനിങ് തന്നെ രണ്ട് സ്ലൈഡിനും ടൈറ്റിൽ കൊടുക്കാം എന്നിട്ടൊരു നാല് പോയിന്റ് ഇവിടെയും നാല് പോയിന്റ് അടുത്ത ഇട്ടാൽ മതി So it is, uh, uh, they should feel that, oh, this is something very ഒരുപാട് എന്തോ മനസ്സിലാക്കാനുണ്ടെന്നുള്ള ഒരു തോന്നൽ ഓഡിയൻസിന് വരരുത് എന്ന് പിന്നെ ഇത് തന്നെ മതിയായിരുന്നു ആറ് പോയിന്റ് ആണെങ്കിലും പിന്നെ അങ്ങനെയെങ്കിലും അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാം പക്ഷെ എട്ട് പോയിന്റ് ഉള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ബെറ്റർ ദാറ്റ് യു സ്പ്ലിറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി അപ്പിയർ വെരി കോമ്പാക്ട് വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ഗുഡ് തിങ് അപ്പൊ ഒരു ഒരു കൊട്ടേഷനൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ഒരു സ്ലൈഡിൽ അങ്ങനെ ഇടുമ്പോ ഇത് വായിക്കരുത് നമ്മള് യു ഷുഡ് പുട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഓഡിയൻസ് റീഡ് ആൻഡ് യു ഷുഡ് ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ് ഹൗ ദിസ് കൊട്ടേഷൻ ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഹൗ ദിസ് ഇസ് സംതിങ് വെരി കീ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് യു ക്യാൻ ഡിസ്കസ് എ ലോട്ട് ഓൺ ദിസ് വൺ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ or one quotation from a famous person this is a good way of bringing in ideas okay this is all okay so uh, some graphics are there this is all good like the graphics are done now so add some attraction to the slide okay so this is uh, the conclusion slide conclusion slide as i said this also should be in the form of points adum points pole aakana adu kaiyittu we should have a question slide a question slide kaiyittu venam thank you thank you
Okay, let us look at the next presentation. This is uh, done by Shruti. Shruti is here? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is uh, this is very professional. This is a professional look in the slides. This is good. Our appearance in the lot of professional item number of person day and their appearance. How do they care under which is put in proper places? Things are put in proper places. So, what can you how can you make this more impressive? So, you better normally your contents slide. And later, I'm going to points running You can slightly make it larger. If the fonts are there, a bit larger, it will be easy for the audience to understand. Introduction slide another. So, if the font is going to be the font, it is easy for the audience to understand. Uh, this, these slides are all very good, but if you can include one or two images. The service and then you image. If you can provide some image for marketing, so that will be the image that will be a bag of the slide in the bag of the images. There will be some some uh, interest for the audience. For example, here you are talking about Philip Kotler definition of Kotcha Parimbo, Philip Kotler in a Kotcha Parimbo. You can include a photograph of Philip Kotler there. So the audience will be interested in your presentation. This uh, presentation will look even more better. If there is a graph here. This is also very good. It makes the idea very clear to the audience. The such long sentences can be avoided. Long sentences avoid the points. So this is a long sentence which should be avoided. Can avoid such long sentences and write like point like this. This is this is good. Problems in marketing services. These like the nalla. points I should speak about them while making the presentation, but it is not required to put it in the slides. Okay. There should be a concluding slide. So before this, uh, thank you presentation, there should be a concluding slide which includes the main points that you have discussed in your presentation. After the concluding slide, there should be yet another slide. That should be the question slide, inviting questions from the audience. Only then we should have this thank you slide. Is that OK, Shruti? You understood? Shruti, uh, is it clear to you? Uh, it's like okay. No, no, it's not a presentation. I, as I said, it has a very professional look. Only thing you just need to uh, change certain things, add some images, uh, reduce the text, and make it into presence uh, points. This uh, slide is uh, of uh, Nishita. So, Nishida here, uh, mutual funds. Yes, sir. Okay. In introduction, maybe you can just write five or six point, main points. We are discussing all the things in the introduction. We are going to talk about all the things in the introduction. Uh, eight points
അപ്പൊ ഈ കോണ്ടൻസ് എന്നുള്ള ടൈറ്റിൽ മാറ്റി ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ നോക്കാം എന്നിട്ട് മെയിൻ പോയിന്റ്സ് മാത്രം അതിൽ പക്ഷെ അപ്പൊ ഈ സെന്റൻസിനെ ഒന്ന് റെഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യണം നമുക്ക് ഇതിനെ ചെറുതായിട്ട് ഇപ്പൊ മൂന്ന് പോയിന്റ് ആണത് മൂന്ന് പോയിന്റിനെ പോയിന്റ്സ് ആക്കി മാറ്റണം ഇത് ഇപ്പൊ സെന്റൻസസ് ആണ് ഇത് നമുക്ക് പറയാം വെൻ യു സ്പീക്ക് വെൻ യു മേക്ക് ദ പ്രസന്റേഷൻ യു ക്യാൻ സേ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ബട്ട് യു ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് ടൈപ്പ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഇൻ ടു ദ പ്രസന്റേഷൻ ജസ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് സം പോയിന്റ്സ് ദർ this is all good flow flow chart pore ekka kanikku it 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 makes a very good impression upon the audience they get a very clear idea of how the mutual funds work so uh, instead of writing something drawing such a flow chart will make the idea very clear to the audience or clear right to manasla so this is also good Uh, so when you write all these things, you should, you can't show that we explain all these things. Then AMC is what we call AMC. AMC is what we call Asset Maintenance uh, Company. That's what we call AMC. Then we will explain it. So when you have such a slide, it is very easy to uh, explain all these points to the audience. Then we will see the images you see. And different types of mutual funds. This is called a tree. a tree chart so the tree chart clearly explains the different kinds of mutual funds the structure the investment objective others etc what is the difference between a stock and a mutual fund so that also is made here this is good there is a conclusion slide uh, references are there maybe you can make this uh, change the color of these fonts because it's not readable it's very difficult yes sir and when spell check cheyana nammal references are e f e e ullu so those things also as i said type cheyumba chalappa or letter ok extra varo appo nammal correct cheyana last one check cheyam sir otherwise this is all very good so this is uh, another example we will take a couple of more examples and then we will end it okay this is a uh, shweta's presentation shweta babraj and all hi yes sir okay shweta this is your presentation on trade trading services so namak idu kaynja odane adhyam vendathu or introduction slide aanu shweta after this titles this is called a uh, title slide adu kaynja odane ivada vendathu or introduction slide aanu so oh, this is a kind of text we have to remove all these things idella maatranam full aayittu maachi points site edan even this is very uh, difficult to read and understand okay so reduce it make it into small points increase the size of the font then it will become very attractive the backgrounds are all very good but if you can just uh, change the size of the font reduce the amount of text okay so then it will become very nice this is a good way of representing a flow chart of how trade happens
So you using such images uh, can be done in other slides also. You can use some images which are suitable. Here you are mentioning import, export, re-export. Some suitable images can be put here so that audience will understand. Reduce the text, make it into points and include some images. And conclusion also should be written as points. Then include a question slide and then the thank you slide. So that's all. Is that okay with you? Shweta. You understood what I said? Okay, okay. So next we will take up another one. This is by Gauti. Gauti, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. My point is just to how to make our PowerPoint slides more effective. I am not familiar with the subject at all. So don't worry about that. My idea is how we can make uh, the, our presentations effective. So when you talk about digital marketing, as I said, uh, we can have an introductory slide where we mention what the main things that we are going to discuss in the presentation. So they, they, we are actually leading the audience into what you are going to make them understand. slow get them into the water. So if you want to teach somebody swimming, you don't put them into the middle of the ocean. First, you take them into the uh, edge of the water, then slowly make them dip, and slowly you take them into the subject like that. You give an introduction of what you're going to talk about. Just uh, write the main points that you're going to discuss in the entire presentation, and then get into one topic, one by one. So before this, you can have the introduction. Yes, yeah. So this is OK. This is, uh, this is no, not bad. This is good. There is an image. Uh, images word cloud create word cloud create topic word cloud create google search word cloud title slide our presentation will become very impressive word cloud topic word cloud topic Either word cloud creative the online it and creative title slide like you see. So this is a kind of uh, a kind of word cloud that she has made. So you can create such kinds of word clouds on, on any topic. And that can be used as a title uh, in the title slide, in the beginning slide. This is all okay. This uh, uh, when you uh, this is a kind of uh, screen that she has shared on how to find out a website wow. using Google search. Images adjust on image when you copy images and paste on slides, it may not appear as you have done it. So maybe you have to stretch it or reduce the stretch so that uh, this image. Uh, appears very clear to the audience. Okay, sir. Then spell check. Yeah, spell check. Yeah, spell check. Yeah, spell check. spell check. Disadvantages is one word. Okay, these are all good. Just need to do some spell check. So such images are all very attractive. So your makes your presentation very light doesn't become very hard upon the audience if you have some good images like this this is a very good image it's a very pleasant looking image such images uh, this image is better than this image this image is better than this image so look at the difference this is very colorful and attractive this is this is looking very dry maybe you can change the image you can introduce images which are good looking. Mm -hmm. We have a flow chart which describes social mar media marketing, content marketing, email marketing. Okay. 
So conclusion. Very good. There is a conclusion. And before the conclusion, you can have a question slide and then I thank you. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So the next I uh, will take up uh, Vismaya's slide. This is Vismaya. Uh, so this, uh, this is a good way of uh, giving an introduction on online education. Very good. Uh, the picture itself says it. What is online education? Okay. So the only problem I have with this with the text in the font account, long idle sentences will work on. Otherwise, everything looks fine. There should be a, uh, a question slide before this thank you slide. If they have any questions, the audience can ask. And then we have the yes, thank you slide. Conclusion, the, all the things that we discussed in the presentation should come uh, as a brief okay. summary. Points I to learn. Okay, sir. Okay. So... We have just two or three people more. I think I'll just quickly. Okay, this is uh, this is upper now slide. Color font in the color and the other change is already on it. Font light and dark might turn a background to another club. Only fonts are suitable. Maybe if you use a dark font, okay. Other font in the color of the Manchester and the city spell check images are used. This is good. You are using good images here. It's all proprietorship. I'm spelling on the check here. Uh, images are images as far as possible. You can use images to get across your ideas to your audience. This is a good way of uh, making a presentation. So conclusion points I did. Otherwise, it is okay. Very points I did. In a long paragraph, I did on points I did. Okay, sir. Okay. Next, we have Akhila's presentation. Akhila, uh, are you there? Human yes, Resources sir. Management. Okay. Now, the images that come by ideally shutter shock and go and get calamity in Kalanator. Now, let's not the images. But calamity, even whether they saw our night, I think it was a photo editing software, but either my chicken calamity or race reviews. Okay. Okay. So then, okay. Then the fonts, for sure. Oh, see contrast, the color contrast on the knocker, so that it becomes okay. readable and reduce this text size over size of quota okay. that the text in the amount of correct. Okay. Points matter. So then it is okay. Uh. So, topic I am discussing what you are writing. Apa, conclusion conclusion slide I to Conclusion is slide in the title at the time. the points conclusion You would have done points for not. Nothing in a paragraph. How should love? E paragraph is the language. E paragraph is the language. E conclusion slide Okay. okay. Uh, then it is fine. Okay, we okay. want to the next one. I think time is getting exhausted. We'll look at this one more slide and we'll conclude for today. So this is uh, Aisha. Aisha is Aisha. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. So. You can make it into the first slide. You welcome the Lord the name. You can include this. 
then introduction you can write the main points that you're going to discuss in the presentation instead of writing such a paragraph it would be better if you write some points on the main title slides that you're going to present Okay, otherwise this is all fine. You have this used some graphs, Venn diagrams, it's all good. This is a Venn diagram. Images, suitable images are used. Maybe you can increase the font of this text slightly. So that is hmm. agreement equals valid offer plus valid acceptance. font will be more readable. Uh, animation you say that and okay. So using such images are all nice. It just makes the presentation very light. Okay, there are some, there are points in the conclusion. Okay, good. So you can just include one questions slide and then finish off. This is good. So I think we will conclude for today. So we, we I think you all have got an idea. Uh, so don't take it personally if I have made some comments about your slides. Everybody makes such uh, errors. I, even if I prepare a slide, there will be some errors. But the point is, every time we have to improve and make it more perfect and more better. So just uh, remember these points in our mind that we have to have a proper beginning, a proper conclusion. There should not be too much text in the uh, slide. Uh, the minimum of text, some images, some pictures. And uh, the font should be readable. The colors should not be very distracting. The animations also should not be very distracting. It should be very simple and easy to understand. So that is the main point. A lot of text in the slides is ne no, no, never use a lot of text. Minimum text, number of points, a few points. And the slides are also not too many. For example, if you are making a presentation, one or two slides for a minute. That's all we need. And then we use the slides to speak. Whatever we are going to speak should not be there in the slide. That is something we should speak. So the point should be there. We will be expanding on the points when we make the presentation. So thank you for joining. We will take up the next topic in the next session. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you.